and Australia are beautifully placed here at three for 386. Their lead is currently 197. We saw so much drama yesterday. Oh, good morning. Box office action and Nokia, well, both Steve Smith and David Warner yesterday said that it was the fastest spell they've ever faced in the afternoon session. Nice shot. Oof. That's a boundary. Wow. Raced off the bat. <laughs> Beautifully timed. So he hits it over the top of him. Uh, it's not perfectly timed, but it'll get a couple, which means Travis Head will go to yet another 50. What a summer he is having here. Yeah. Got him! Got him! And Nokia does get reward. And straight after the milestone, South Africa have struck early this morning. Me. What are we seeing here? Are you off to, Smithy? I thought you were leaving the commentary box. I can't believe this drama that the series is producing. <laughs> and the crowd are awake to it. Three slips a gully, a short leg. Where will it come from? Oh, he tucked away a little bit, Pat Cummins. He got the bat in the way. It was hidden. It was stump-wise going close. Oh, he gets it away behind gully. It'll race away for four. He got that off the middle of the bat, Pat Cummins. I won't say it was absolutely convincing. Little touch there. Was a noise. There was a noise. No. Sounded good at the time. OK, we've got a spike with ball and bat right beside each other. Second now. Oh, up and over. So Erica have had more happen for them and... 10 minutes this morning than in the previous 90 overs. Thrashes it away. What a glorious shot that is. Just to remind uh, everyone watching that uh, Australia are in charge here. Oh, and times it. Absolutely times it magnificently behind square for four. Unorthodox, but you've got to love it. Straight down the ground from Alex Carey. His driving has been a highlight for the summer. Takes it this time. And takes it very well. There's Nathan Lyon, the GOAT. He's clearing the rope at the MCG. Up and under and over. Just waited. It's a quality shot from A. Carey. His fifth boundary. He's rolling along nicely. Moves to 36 for... We say it every year about Sydney. That gets through. Beautiful timing. Nathan Lyon did nothing more than provide a, a forward defensive push. <laughs> that is the end of Nathan Lyon. And Geedy gets his first wicket of the test. Zondo with a catch. And Nathan Lyon's highest score at the MCG. That is sumptuous from Alex Carey. Oh. Hammered. A lovely flowing bat of Alex Carey. He loves that region of the ground. Tries a short ball and that gets punished as well. Oh. <laughs> timing. Glorious timing. And rapturous applause around the ground. Because he's made it to his fourth Test 50. In the air, intentionally, dead straight down the ground. Lovely piece of cricket. Top edge, uh, over the top. A little bit of luck involved with that. Ooh. Much more deliberate. Much more deliberate there. And uh, he teased a very big man at slip. Rabada it did shape a bit. He threw the hands at it, thick outside edge and a boundary. Fortunate, but continuing to Alex Carey. Short. Both fielders point at each other, and the ball rockets between them. Real flash outside the off stump from Cameron Green.
Wedged into the gap. Four. Oh, that's oh. gone up in the air, and that's going to be out, court and bowl. Yes, it is. That's a, a really weird dismissal. Something has cracked, and Cameron Green has cracked it brilliantly over the top of backward point. Into the fence for four, and he brings up a half century, which will feel pretty damn good as well. Oh, top edge, is it? It's a pretty effective one if it is. It's gone all the way. Shall we have just another Q ender? But yeah, the declaration has been called. Australia declaring an eight for 575 with a lead. Right, first ball. Australia uh, on the charge here. South Africa's second innings underway. Oh, lovely little bit of swing. Magic. Well, it's a little touch down the leg side. Have they got him again? Running through. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. that would have been only a slight bit of rain around the MCG the covers are coming out maybe 15 minutes or so Nathan Lyon doesn't seem too concerned about the weather giving everyone a thrill down there by signing a multitude of autographs it doesn't look like a heavy shower from out here does it Hal? No, not too much to be concerned about hopefully the news here from the MCG, that is stumps. Unfortunately, the rain has uh, come out the victor in this third session. Clearly the drizzle uh, just going on a little bit too long and Matt Page just said to the umpires, I'm just gonna uh, put the pegs in, keep the cover on. And that will mean tomorrow play will begin at 10 a.m. local time. It'll be a day of 98 overs. So uh, won't have lost too much actual time out of the test match, but uh, the South Africans, I think, at one for 15 off seven overs in their second innings with the lights on, they'll be relatively pleased, Huss, that they can come out hopefully in broad daylight. Yeah, they'll be very happy that uh, play's been abandoned for the day. There'll be some tired, tired <laughs> South African players, so they'll have an opportunity to really recover. Uh, sleep well tonight and come back fresh tomorrow with and I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll come together tight and they'll say right come on this is a great challenge for us we've got to try and bat and bat as long as we can try and bat for two days if we can we've got nine wickets in hand